Welcome to Gadget Class. We're right in the middle of our digital caliper roundup and we're doing individual video reviews and unboxings of the individual digital calipers in the roundup. This here is the Nyko. It is the 01407A. You can get this on Amazon for a little over $16. Um, it receives fairly uh, decent reviews mainly because of its value or for, because of its price point. Um, when you get down to it though, it doesn't actually meet uh, its own tolerances and I would not recommend it. Make sure you watch the full 7 caliper digital roundup review showing which ones I do recommend. Uh, but this is not one of them. It did not actually meet its own accuracy ratings. Inside the box you'll get a black and white laser printed instructional manual. Looks very similar to the one you get in the Carrera box. Interestingly enough, you get your caliper in a bag. And they do give you an extra battery. I'm finding that uh, a lot of these batteries they include with these cheaper Chinese digital calipers um, are actually not lasting very long. So they've either, either been sitting around for a while or uh, they're poor quality battery to start with. As far as the Nyko goes, it's pretty simple design, all plastic. Has a pretty good weight to it. Um, decent design. Stainless steel. Machining isn't quite as smooth as it is on an eye gauging or a Mitutoyo. You don't see any of those machining marks on the eye gaugings or the Mitutoyos. has a decent battery compartment design. It is not IP54 rated or moisture or dust proof rated, which you get on the eye gauging products. It does have a little door here that uh, allows data input if you have the right cable or you're willing to hack a cable together. If you use it right, you can get decent measurements with it, but I would recommend only making measurements at full depth, such as that. Let's switch it over two inches. This is a ten thousandths feeler. And then come out here to the end. There's a variance of about three thousandths there. That is not within its rated spec. It should be 1.5 thousandths of a difference or less from measuring from here to there. Also, another huge deal is the internal measuring faces. There's a gap of 1 to 3 thousandths in there. Um, across the data set, I noticed that the Nyko and the other two cheaper Chinese ones were off on the internal measurements, and I realized that there's actually a space there. Check out my other video showing that space with the light shining through it and with the feeler gauge in there so you can really visually see um, that there is a problem there and your measurements are going to be off by that much. Kind of a big oversight really. So as long as you're not measuring internal spaces and you're willing to accept a three thousandths of an inch variance from here to there, eh, you might consider it I guess. Maybe if you're doing uh, really coarse stuff like woodworking or, or uh, you know, building big metal objects, it might not be an issue. But for me, that's completely unacceptable. When you could spend another $5, get yourself an eye gauging easy cal, much better built digital caliper all around, bigger display, fractional measurement, very clean, smooth machine lines. That's the second runner up in the video series. So overall, I do not recommend it. 
if uh, if you got one at Harbor uh, Harbor Freight for ten dollars or less, that's great. Um, but I would still put that ten dollars towards something like an eye gauging product. Be sure to watch all the other videos in the review.